Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Welcome to this last and final part of this tutorial. So for this tutorial, we'll be finishing up our diamond. And yeah, that will be it for this tutorial. And from there, I trust that you Queens and Kings will be able to finish and take over don't mind me this is not glow this is this is heat okay <laughs> it's so hot you it's not glow it's heat rest assured okay <laughs> so what materials will be using for this tutorial you're going to be using your check beads upholstery thread and your needle so let's get started this is where we ended up queens and kings in our previous uh tutorial so for this for today's tutorial this is the last part for this tutorial our goal is to finish our diamond yes our goal is just to finish our diamond and then from there i'm quite confident that queens and kings will be able to do this tutorial on your own excuse the background noise uh the fan is on because south africa it's very hot <laughs> Okay, so you're going to start with your four orange beads. So we have our diamond in the center and in the two corners we have our triangle. When you using this pattern, when you introduce your triangle, you introduce your triangle on the, on the two ends of your belt. And when you introduce the diamond, you introduce it in the center. Okay. Then you pick three orange beads. Then you're going to pick up three white beads. And three blue beads. And then you're going to pick up three yellow beads. This pattern is a gorgeous pattern. I love this pattern. So this pattern, you can use any bead size that you want to use. If you want to use uh, the big Zulu beads, the plastic ones, uh, other people call them Amakosha, you can use. The, the aim of a pattern is just to show you Uguti you have a variety of patterns. It doesn't really focus more on the bead size. You can also use 11 knot size. It's going to be a bit smaller. So that means you can make uh, something like Ivulagabini. If you use Amakosha, you're going to have thick a thick belt. So that means you're going to have something like an apron. So, you can be free, man. Let your creative juices flow. Let your creative juices flow nicely. Nicely. <laughs> so, you pick up three white beads and three orange beads. How are you doing, queens and kings? I hope everyone is well. Uh, back to normal now, hey? Vacation is over. Everyone who went home is back now. Then you're going to pick up four orange beads. How was the visit back home? I hope everyone is well back home. Everyone is well and healthy back home. I hope everyone made it safe. And we are all still alive and breathing. <laughs> Just thankful of life. Three white beads. Be thankful of life, queens and kings. Nothing less, nothing more. Pick up three blue beads.
And for other queens and kings who are back at work, how did it feel like going back at work? I'm sure the first two days you felt like you 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 are in a different place, ne? You felt like you forgot how to do your job. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> We're like, what, what, what's, what's even the password for my laptop? <laughs> you even forget the password to your to your work laptop. You're like, ah. How does this work? Hmm. You even forgot about your your co-workers. Good. Oh, I forgot because this this person is like this. This person is impatient. This person is bubbly. This one is loud. You forgot those things. But I'm sure after after three days you are just even waking up. Yeah, the body gets used to it. Back to normal queens and kings. But I, I also feel like this year is flying. We are in, in mid-January. It's going to be the 15th soon. That's almost the end. Soon we will be in March. We'll, we'll just blink. We'll just close our eyes. When we open them, we'll be in March. So I also feel like 2020, 2024 is flying as 2023 did. But I feel like it's, yeah, it's more faster than 2023. You know, before, January used to be a long month. January, yo. January felt like seven weeks. <laughs> but now... Hey, hi, hi, hi. What's the rush? Hmm? Wh where are you all going? <laughs> what is the rush? <laughs> oh, don't be alarmed. These are the beats that I'm using. I know when there's something at the corner of the screen, you was asking yourself, what is this thing? <laughs> it's just uh, the lid for my beats. Yeah. Hi, there's a noise in this house, <laughs> in the background. My sisters are here visiting. So we're having a jolly time, but they're having a jolly time without me. How? So now we're going to continue with our triangle on the sides. Three orange beads. Then you pick up another three orange beads. And three white beads. Three blue beads. Three yellow beads. Three blue beads. And three white beads. If you look closely, you can see that we are almost close to closing our diamond at the center then three orange beads take your needle insert it into the central bead and then you pull so this diamond and this diamond is the same this one and this one is the same for this pattern, the only time where you can sort of customize your is when you are making the the diamonds. But everything outside the diamond is the same. But at the center of your diamond, 
you customize this. You can see the sizes of the diamonds inside this diamonds, they're not the same as this one because you customize. Even if you want a solid diamond, that too is okay. Even if you want only two colors, that too is okay. It's all up to you. But the part that might be a bit challenging are the sides outside our diamond. The triangles, the rectangle, the borders, those are the challenging parts. parts. But nothing is impossible, queens and kings. Nothing is impossible. So moving forward with this pattern, whether you, you can create another diamond, the, a third diamond to be a solid color, or you can only have two colors, it's, it's, it is all up to you. You take your three, be three orange beads and insert your needle into the central bead. You pick up your three orange beads. And then three white beads. Oopsie. Oh, and not. <laughs> I'll be back. Three blue beads. Three yellow beads. Three blue beads. Three white beads. Uh, three orange beads. Remember last time I had a problem with my red. Now I have a problem with my orange. <laughs> Well, story of my life. So you pick up three orange beads. Three orange beads. Three orange beads again. Okay, I wanted to just for us to take a moment and observe something. So this triangle and this triangle is the same. So how do you know that it's time to create a border for your, your rectangle? This is how you go about. You're going to calculate um, the number of beads you have here. You have one, two, three. Four. Oh, let me do it like this. One. Yes, it does now show close. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the beads we have. Seven beads. Then come to this triangle. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this we have seven and we have seven here. That means now we're going to create a a border closing down our triangles on the side like this border line that is closing down so you want to close down your triangle and at the same time create um, a space where you can introduce your rectangle four orange beads then you're going to add another orange bead. Then you're going to add three orange beads. So at this point, at this point, instead of picking up three more orange beads, you, you are working on closing. Ne? So how do you close? You pick up one orange and two white beads. One orange and two white beads. So 
so this is how it looks like then you're going to pick up three white beads mm -hmm. like this once you do that you go back to your diamond you pick up three blue beads you pick up another three blue beads and then you pick up three white beads so what you do here you also do on the side but it's going to be uh the other way around inverted i get it. okay it's going to be inverted hang it here you picked up one orange and two white so take that and flip it you have two white and one orange so that's what we're going to do here you're going to pick up two white and one orange bead This is how it looks. Then you're going to pick up three orange beads. And then you pick up another three orange beads. go you pick up four orange beads you want to pick up four orange beads you i'm picking okay so you pick up your four orange beads take your needle insert it into the central bead then you pick up three orange beads Take your needle, insert it into the central bead, and then you pull. So now, at this point, you're going to pick up one orange and two white beads. One orange and two white beads. At this point, you're going to introduce your rectangle this rectangle the red the red rectangle this is where you're going to introduce your rectangle how do you go about introducing your rectangle you want to pick up one white for your border and two color beads so this is my shiny green so it's one color and two one white and two color so this is how it's looking like. Ne? Now you're going to pick up three white beads. You see, you see Queens and Kings, simple, simple, simple. It's doable. Three white beads. Then you pick up, you're closing the tip of our diamond by picking up our three blue beads. So you've officially closed off the diamond that we have here. Then you pick up your three white beads. And then remember what you do on one side, you do on the other. You just switch, flip it. Here you picked up one white and two color. But now you're going to start with your two color and then your one white. Creating our rectangle. So you're going to pick up two white beads and one orange bead. Two white and one orange bead. Then you pick up three orange beads. Remember at the same time we have to we're closing off our 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 diamond and we also have to complete the rest of our triangles on the side. And at the same time we're also introducing our rectangles in one line we've done so much <laughs> okay now you're going to pick up four orange beads Two, three, four. 
you take your needle, you insert it into the central bead. Then you pick up three orange beads. Then it's one orange and two white beads. Then you pick up one white and two green beads. One white and two green beads. We are expanding our rectangle. Then you pick up three green beads. Then you pick up three white beads. And three white beads. Three color, which is your three green beads, our rectangle now. Ne? And two green and one white. Two color, one white. Three orange, three white beads. Oh, sorry, two white and one orange. Three orange beads. Okay, so this is how it's looking like so far, ne? Yes. Four orange beads. One orange, two white. One white, two green. Three green beads. And then you're going to pick up three green beads again. And then you pick up three white beads. Then you pick up three green beads. Three green beads. And you pick up another three green beads this pattern is coming so well it looks gorgeous it's beautiful queens and kings and I'm confident that even even the one that you're busy with is gorgeous it's, it's gorgeous it's neat you pick up two green and one white it's beautiful, it's neat, it's tidy. You know, it's lovely, it's artistic, it's colorful. Ooh, it's beautiful, man, it's beautiful. Three orange beads. Now you're going to pick up four orange beads.
Then you pick up one orange and two white beads. Then you pick up one white and two green beads. Three green beads. Three green beads. Another three green beads. So, this is what you should uh, take as your reference. Ne? Look at uh, this, the first row for your rectangle. You have one, two, three beads that are sticking out. And here you have one, two, three beads already. Meaning at the center you can close your, your beads. How do you go about? You're going to pick up one green and two white beads so i need to add you are creating your rectangle and you also um creating a a border that will cover your diamond the new diamond that you're going to introduce nicely so here you're going to pick up two white beads and one green bead so at the center this is how it looks like. Then you pick up your three green beads. Three green beads. And another three green beads. Then you pick up two green and one white. Two green and one white. Then it's two white and one orange. Then you're going to pick up two orange and two white beads. Two orange and two white. So this is the last row that we're going to do, queens and kings. Two orange and two white. Then you're going to pick up one white and two green beads. Then you pick up three green beads. Another three green beads. And then you pick up one green and two white beads. So the white, you're creating that border for your diamond that you'll be introducing. So at this point, this is where you're going to introduce a new diamond color. So you're going to pick up one white, one color. Oh, I'm thinking navy. Ooh, navy is going to be gorgeous. One white, one color, and one white. Introducing a new diamond. And it, as we've spoke about this before, when you introduce a diamond, introduce it at the center of your belt. One white, one color and one white so this is how it is looking like now you're going to pick up two white beads and one green bead two white and one green bead then you pick up three green beads
I pick up another three green beads. Then you're going to pick up two green and one white. Two green and one white. Then it's two white and one orange. Two white and one orange. Okay, so this is where we're going to stop Queens and Kings. Um, I'm going to write on the screen if you want to continue. Just you're going to move back. I'm not sure whether it's part three. It's, it's the same concept, Queens and Kings. The only difference will be the center. If you want your center to be different, either want two colors or three or four or a solid color, it's all up to you. But our main focus is on the outside of our diamond so i'm going to write it i'm also going to include the timestamp and the part in which if you want to continue you can continue queens and kings thank you so much for watching queens and kings i love you guys so so much remember to love yourself respect yourself honor yourself and have fun if you love the content that you're seeing please consider subscribing see you on the next video bye